With the rapid development of artificial intelligence and neural networks, questions about whether human-like androids can replace real human friends, loved ones, or romantic relationships are increasingly being raised. Technologies as they advance are displacing humans from various professions, but are they able to replace communication and interaction with real people? In this video, we will try to provide answers to all these questions, discuss the current developments in this direction, and explore how soon hyper-realistic robots will truly replace humans. It is worth noting that the video will specifically focus on human-like robots that mimic humans. First, we need to determine what hyper-realistic robots of the future might look like. Engineers are already offering several options today. There are humanoid dolls, humanoid robots, and full-fledged AI that is hard to distinguish from human intelligence. The robots of the future should not just resemble real humans, but they should also simulate feelings and emotions. In other words, they will behave like ordinary people. Unfortunately, or fortunately, creating something like this in the foreseeable future is not feasible. At this stage of technological progress, truly full-fledged artificial intelligence has not yet appeared, so nowadays recreating such humanoids is a practically impossible task. Therefore, based on current realities, it is worth distinguishing two directions. The first is the creation of some kind of intelligent system capable of thinking like a human. The second is the construction of an ordinary robot doll, designed to satisfy natural needs both physically and spiritually. Of course, we are talking about advanced high-tech models that will be very similar to humans externally. As trivial as it may sound, the second option is more relevant today. There is nothing shameful about this. It is the nature of humans. There is another significant aspect that is constantly being addressed, and this concerns not only representatives of various religions. Among the skeptics are scientists as well. For example, Dr. Kathleen Richardson from De Montfort University believes that ordinary human relationships could suffer greatly because of new technologies. It will come to the point where artificial communication and relationships will replace natural ones, and all relationships between humans and robots will be reduced to primitive physiology. There will be no romantic or spiritual feelings left, and this could ruin humanity, fundamentally changing the roles of both men and women. Are all these concerns justified? Yes and no, because such robots have their advantages. They will help brighten the lives of lonely people and perhaps spare some from unnecessary quarrels and disappointments. But as for the complete replacement of humans by robots, that is not on the table yet. After all, as we have already mentioned, it is necessary first to create AI that would be comparable to human intelligence. Much can be said about the threat that robots pose to real human relationships. But one important thing to understand here is that progress cannot be stopped. And this applies, among other things, to robots for specific purposes. Their opponents may slow down the spread of such devices, but if the demand for such developments continues to grow, then the supply will not be far behind. The legislative aspect will not become an insurmountable barrier either, although in some religious countries it may slow down the process of spreading such devices. What can really pose serious competition to robots is augmented and virtual reality. Already in our time, Technologies allow us to immerse ourselves fully into imaginary universes. Soon, humans may simply lose the ability to distinguish reality from virtuality. Therefore, complex and expensive intelligent machines may end up on the scrap heap of history sooner than they reach the assembly line. And even before, technologies allowing to build something similar are developed. However, the uniqueness of such robots at the moment lies in their functionality. Besides their outer shell, you can tailor their character, behavior, and so on. In other words, you're not just getting a robot servant but a conversationalist capable of analyzing and memorizing your words. Moreover, it will react to touches and can simulate pleasure and emotions. Now let's take a closer look at the solutions that developers have proposed in recent years. In early June 2022, researchers from California created printable skin that enables robots to sense touches. The technology is part of a robotic platform that connects to sensors attached to human skin. Researchers believe that this will allow robots to feel temperature and the toxicity of chemicals, according to the California Institute of Technology. Scientists also hope that people will gain more control over robots and be protected from dangers. The skin is made of hydrogel, which is intended to make the fingertips of robots more human-like. As the developers of the technology explained, sensors will be embedded inside the hydrogel, making it easier for robots to determine their surroundings. 
Researchers also added that these sensors are literally printed on the skin, similar to how an inkjet printer applies text to a sheet of paper. We want to install it on more powerful robots and make them smarter. I think the first complex robots will appear by 2050, but it will take another 50 years before they become commonplace and people accept them as the norm," said one of the engineers. Recently, Abyss Creation's Real Botix showcased the process of creating hyper-realistic humanoid robots, which in the future, due to artificial intelligence, will not only be realistic but also intelligent. Abyss Creation's Real Botix has been manufacturing and selling silicone robot dolls for over 20 years. However, their new step involves bringing dolls to life using animatronics, sensory technology, and artificial intelligence. The company's manufacturing facility is located in San Marcos, California. This is where the entire process of doll creation, from development to production of the smallest details, takes place. Each doll is handcrafted by a team of designers and artists. Customers can customize their model down to the smallest details and according to their characteristics. There is already an option to purchase a real doll with an animatronic head that can speak, move, and blink. Customers can also program their robot's personality according to their preferences and get to know it through regular conversation. It is worth noting that the company offers to purchase only the head, which costs $10,000. If the customer wants to get the body as well, the cost of such a toy will be around $14,000 depending on the configuration. The company sees the advancement of its dolls as robots capable of more fully replacing human relationships. The company produces both female and male dolls, with female ones being the best sellers. According to statistics, for every one male doll sold, there are nine female dolls sold. The male version of the AI platform is still in development and is expected to be released next year. One of the creepiest moments of production is the bringing the doll to life. When the robotic skull is attached to the face, the doll starts to look like a living person. Once the face is in place, the designer adds a scalp to conceal the internal wiring. The robot heads are fully animatronic. Their faces can smile, talk, blink, and move their eyes. Soon, McMullen hopes to add cameras to the eyes to track movement, allowing the robots to follow customers around the room and study their daily habits. The company claims that they can bring to life practically any design, including any elements of the client's imagination. These dolls are among the first fully functional robots designed to replace humans ever produced in the world. Abyss has a significant advantage in this regard. But can such an artificial person replace a friend, girlfriend, or parent in the future? Many researchers and advocates for the ethics of human relationships are seeking an answer to this question, but for now, their opinions diverge greatly. And what do you think about this?